Could you describe what that moment was like from your perspective? Mm. And what did you see it would mean for all of our futures? When you create something new like CUDA, if you build it, they might not come. And and that's that's always the, the cynic's perspective. However, the optimist perspective would say, but if you don't build it, they can't come. And that's usually how we look at the world. You know, we, we have to reason about intuitively why this would be very useful. And in fact, uh, in 2012, Ilya Suskover and Alex Krzyzewski and Jeff Hinton in the uh, University of Toronto, the lab that they were at, they reached out to a G-Force, GTX 580, because they learned about CUDA and that CUDA might be able to, to be used as a parallel processor for training AlexNet. And uh, so our inspiration that G-Force could be the, the vehicle to bring out this parallel architecture into the world and that researchers would somehow find it someday was a good, was a good strategy. It was a strategy based on hope, um, but it was also reasoned hope. The, the thing that really caught our attention was simultaneously we were trying to solve the computer vision problem inside the company. And we were trying to get CUDA to uh, be a good computer vision uh, processor. And we were frustrated by, by a, a whole bunch of early developments uh, internally with respect to our, our um, uh, computer vision effort and getting CUDA to be able to do it. And all of a sudden, we saw AlexNet, um, this new algorithm uh, that that is... Uh, completely different co than computer vision algorithms before it, uh, take a giant leap in terms of capability for computer vision. And when we saw that, it was partly out of interest, but partly because we were st struggling with something ourselves. 